Hi everyone, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, I'm going to walk you through pretty much all the stuff we do on the piano and the goal is to try and encapsulate all of that into one lesson. In And all the things we work on on the piano involve, well, some things in common like chord playing, hand independence where you try to get a pattern in the left along with something in the melody and uh, you try to move your hand, you try to work out different combinations, different beats, different sub beats and so on and so forth. So for that I have just come up with a, a simple motif of just four notes and the four notes throughout this lesson are going to be that's it. Right? So just to inform you it's not too tough this lesson. It's um, a lot easier than some of the other stuff on our channel. But anyway, so these are your four notes which you're going to play melodically in the right hand in a couple of ways. That is F, G, A flat, C. So you might argue that we are in the key of F minor. F minor is derived from the A flat major scale. And the chords which will go around this, the first thing you can try and do is <coughs> play this in a sequence. Okay, and I'm going to talk about a few mechanical things to improve as you go along and yeah le let's do it step by step and I encourage you to get your keyboards out, get a notebook out and stuff like that to kind of play and learn along with me as the lesson moves forward. And before we get really cracking it will be great if you can consider getting yourself a copy of our notes on Patreon, uh, link in the description and uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell button for regular notifications whenever we drop a video it will be available and known to you and we do release lessons and videos and riffs which you have on our channel on a daily basis. So do consider doing all those things, give the video a like, leave us a comment, so on and so forth. And now let's start. Hope you got your pianos ready. If not also it's fine. You can still watch. The piano will help. Okay. So first play this in your right and you want a nice circular motion. I, I like a nice circular motion with my wrist which can move like this. You don't have to overdo it. In, in other words, don't move your elbow while you create your circles. I highly, I don't like moving the elbow. And if you start a circular path, what happens is it just kind of keeps going. Right? Now you could even do this with the pedal on and off. If you have a pedal, this is with the pedal on with the pedal off, no problem. But try to get a nice legato out of your performance. You don't want to go very forceful staccato and also while you do this try to do a couple of things. One is try to stay in time. So if you consider these as 16th notes which is dividing the pulse by 4 then I would encourage your head to move once and these four notes would just go with the head movement. 2E and a 3E and a 4E, right? 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E. And... So four notes in the right hand for every head movement. Stay in time. Then try to build on your dynamics. Try to play a bit louder. Softer. And gradually get louder, gradually get softer. We've done a lot of videos on dynamics. Just type the word dynamics on our channel and you'll get a nice set of videos. How to use the pedal, how to control this volume and so on and so forth. Okay, that's pretty much the melody and I have like a variation of the melody, like a more intermediate or advanced way of playing it where I've added some rests in between which will go You might want to check out the notation if you want to count Right? So it's a lot of the E's and the E's. So that's your variation. Now to practice both of these melodies, I would encourage us to first start off with a single F 
following our head movement as a pulse so just a simple f going with the head 
or do it by moving your head so you don't lose timing or you can do it with a drum backing track or something you know softly whenever you have to do and whenever you have to build so what we tend to do is when we play loudly we tend to you know go faster at least most of us do and whenever we go soft we are we tend to go slower so that's a weird human problem i guess so uh, this this should hopefully help you work on on these things so like i said at the beginning of the lesson it's tough to put a name for this lesson it's basically an all in one all the things you need to work on on the piano i've tried to put into one tutorial okay so let's do that again f minor super soft e flat major d flat major slight crescendo to soft f minor a flat major play it lower if you wish slight crescendo back to f minor going to mezzo forte <clears throat> building forte fortissimo basically super loud almost like you're whispering on the piano there we go. and you try it with the other tune as well super soft soft maintain the pulse in your left hand don't forget mezzo going to loud super loud i guess be careful don't break your piano or something and you now if you're having a problem doing i'm at least i am having a problem playing that and talking to you in the lesson but you don't have to do that obviously so try to work on the advanced one if you're not getting it don't worry come back to it still gives you a great great workout okay there we go great so now that that particular activity is done i'd like to combine the roots of the chords with the chord in the left hand and try to introduce a simple striding uh, technique if possible but before we do the stride apart from being able to play the chords you need to also be able to play the chord roots as octaves so maybe i should have done that first and the chord second but you will get the idea nevertheless so f e flat d flat stay on d flat and play the pulse a flat b flat second bar second cycle and f e flat d flat on the pulse remember pulse is the human head movement d flat d flat other man now remember what we learned earlier we learned the chords and what did we learn now the the root and the octave right chord root what if we combine it we can do something like this will train your use of your pedal because you have to to hold the pedal stride your left hand into the triad and make sure you're doing this very very slowly so da 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 de do Now you could even do right you can take your time to jump whenever you're in place play the chord bass chord and slowly get a bit faster at the process and then the other chords it's called the striding actually it's called striding and in some cases when you stride up after having played the root in the left hand 
you could also access some inversions comfortably to play the chords see i prefer to play d flat like this instead of that way it's a bit congested that way right so e flat d flat remember pedal and lift pedal lift pedal lift pedal stay on b flat pedal e flat d flat b my b flat minor c minor d flat major e flat major and close fine so we have you basically use the roots of the chord and we've used the actual chord which you could also play in an inversion then we've combined it together using this amazing striding technique now the striding technique well you can now see what other options you can do with your chords what are the other chord techniques you might have uh, under under your belt so to speak on the piano but before we do chords it's nice to just activate the pinky and the thumb to just do root and octave combos so let me now in this segment of our lesson let's do a few of the commonly used root octave combos and i have introduced them in order of increasing difficulty if you will so first off we have the toggle pulse so what i do with the toggle pulse is root octave root octave almost like you're moving your head sideways at least i get that feeling so pinky thumb pinky that's a toggle pulse you can even do do it very later little quicker with the chord roots of course Okay that's your toggle pulse then we can look at something called which I like to call we will rock you because it's named after the song so okay so you may want to just slow that down feel the we will rock you we started with toggle pulse to do just with one note for a start and then do the others right now rock you coming up then another pattern for you would be what we call the thresio very sals so 1 and 2 and 3 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 or 1 and 2 and 3 and depending on how you're counting it so 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 1 and 2 and okay so modify the thresio by doing like one bar of normal thresio 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 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 and 2 and 3 and 4 
uh, interesting so to speak so uh, the song clave will be cha 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 it's notated for you cha 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 so very groovy right modified and song clave and of course the challenge is also going to be to do it with that other tune i mean the other rhythmically modified uh, tune with res the same notes toggle pulse rock you tresio right so you can do all these things to challenge yourself which even i'm doing right now you know so it's a good workout to just practice single uh, root and octave with the pinky and the uh, thumb and then what you can do is you can convert these rhythms into chords you can try and use them as chords for example if you want to do we will rock you instead of that way you can do break up your chord and do a we will rock you on the broken chord right it's still rock you Tresio You see where this can go root and octave can so quickly become a chord right guys so that's pretty much it for the lesson what i had to share but you could go on you know you could see what other patterns you are familiar with in your left hand and try to play the same uh, chords over those chord patterns otherwise i can go on and on with chord patterns of which there are quite a few already discussed on our youtube channel so for now let's recap we have a set of four notes f g a flat c then we have our chords uh there's an entire nice chord progression which is laid out for you we played it with roots then we did it with blocks remember there's a modified tune as well and so on and so forth so we had a tune modified tune chords single root and octave then we can combine it in a striding technique there we go then we looked at a variety of left hand rhythm patterns toggling the pulse rock you tresio modify tresio right song clave all this with the melody and the chords or the chord roots
right now uh, just to conclude i wanted to mention that you could head over to our website nathanielschool.com and we have a section laid out called free tutorials it's free you don't even have to make an account it's just there nathanielschool.com click on free tutorials and what we've ended up doing is all of our youtube content we have patiently or diligently cataloged it something which youtube can't do so we took it up on ourselves to do it on our website so you'll find uh, all of our lessons archived very well for easy learning you have stuff for beginners you have you can filter things like hand independence left hand bass arpeggios which is a common topic on our channel certain genres like blues and jazz and what not so i encourage you to head over there and if you want something more uh, you know sort of regular or uh, structured uh, step by step lesson by lesson as a lot of you have been asking you might want to consider our video courses plan on the nathaniel school website wherein it's a one time payment and you will get access to a variety of videos which we keep putting out and it the, it's an ever growing library and you have that for life you have an entire subscription you get my books you get three of my books and if none of these are your uh, cups of tea you can then you can otherwise consider a normal in person live virtual course with me or the rest of our nathaniel faculty you just have to fill up a form our course advisor will reach you plan it over a probably a zoom call or something and then figure out a module which serves you best right guys thanks for watching the video hope you found the lesson useful hope it improves your playing do let me know what you think about it in the comments give the video a like uh, hit that subscribe without fail if you haven't already uh, hit the bell icon for notifications get yourself a copy of our notes on patreon and i will see you in the next video cheers and stay cool